What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is all about Penang. What's a Penang? Well, Penang is an island off the coast of Malaysia. It's actually a Malaysian state. What's there to do in Penang? There's a lot to do in Penang. If you're into culture, history, food, art, that's the place to be. Good morning guys! So it's another 6 o'clock start and we are heading down to Georgetown. Guys, it's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Phones, morning. tripods. Check. Do this! <laughs> Alright, we are out of here. Now in 2008, Georgetown was awarded UNESCO World Heritage status and since then it has exploded with street art. You will need to set aside a couple hours to wander through its streets to find the different 3D murals and ironworks. Even though Gladys and I are not big art lovers, we've seen enough pictures of these unique street art to pique our interest and I gotta tell you, we had an awesome time tracking them down. In the back streets of Georgetown, they have this artwork uh, scattered throughout certain areas. Yes. So we decided to come here early in the morning when there's no one around. And as you can see, we are pretty much the only ones here. I'll show you a quick peek. And voila, it's just us. It seems like everywhere we go, we come across the swing. This one's quite unique because it doesn't move. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm pretty enjoying myself with this. <laughs> Pretty then when you're walking down the street you see all these different temples. The dragon. Oh look! Another street art there. Those are used for marketing businesses. Um we're gonna go look for another one. Some of these ironwork pieces usually have informational blurbs, while others can be downright funny. Okay, let's find some more murals. We're looking for the specific one where there's a motorcycle that you can sit on. And we found it! Here we are! Show what it looks like. There you go, guys. The seat is quite dirty, I have to say. So <laughs> it's, hopefully it's, I don't dirty my jeans. Yeah, it's beaten up. But um, yeah, this is uh one of the most photographed artworks in Georgetown. So we're gonna take a shot of it. Yes. See what we come up with. There she is. I'm going to what they call the. Another way to get around is to hire one of these trishaws.
after enjoying the street art, we decided to visit a fishing village that is still active in Georgetown. Alright guys, so we've arrived at the fishing village that we've been eager to explore. It's called the... Chu Jetty! Chu Jetty Village. It doesn't open for another 5 minutes, so... It opens at 9 o'clock. At 9, so it's like 8.55 now. Yeah, so it's from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We yeah. have a zoo coming. And it says, the sign says, Dear visitors, please visit Chu Jetty during visitors hours only. Thank you for your cooperation. And you know why? And you know why? You know why? Well, you know, I guess these people need their privacy. People actually well, live there. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, they gotta get up, get their breakfast going. They don't want tourists running around with their video cameras. Like us. Like us, taking pictures of them eating. That's okay. At 9 a.m. sharp, we were allowed to enter. Now keep in mind that people do really live here and although the front doors may be open, you should be respectful and not take pictures or video of inside their homes. Alright guys, so as you can see, this village is built on stilts and apparently there is uh, about 2 to 3 feet of water down there but from where I'm standing, it's about 10 to 12 feet to the water level. These are streets. So we're walking by these houses and the doors are wide open. You can see sometimes right back into these houses to the back room. Yeah. Sometimes ladies are having their tea, someone's cooking. Every time you walk past a certain room that's, that's closed off, you can hear, literally hear like someone's taking a bath or a shower. And I don't think it's a regular shower like, you know, you turn on the faucet and you have running water. I think it's more like you're bailing water onto yourself. Oh yes. I actually went into this restroom that's closed now, so I can't show you, but I have to go. So it did have like, a big bucket, and then they had holes, and it had, you know, the container where you can just pour water on so, so we've left the back roads of this village, and come upon this like a boardwalk, like the main thoroughfare. Yeah, they have restaurants, ice cream parlor, little vendors selling their things. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's pretty right? much self-contained in here. Pretty much. You don't really have to go out if you don't need to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here they have the fishing boats. And true to nature, there's a Chinese temple here.
siguro yan. This guy is so crowded all of a sudden. Well, it's around 10 o'clock, right? Yes. It's at 10. It's almost like a couple tour buses got dropped off our front. And like a gazillion people just showed up. Check out the guy on the scooter. Get out of here. Okay, guys, that's our time at the uh, fishing village. I enjoyed myself, I loved it. Karen is feeling a little hungry, so we decided to stop here at Jim Journey Cafe. We ordered some fried rice, mind you, it's 10 a.m. I don't see anything that I like, so I just ordered a iced lemon tea. And we're waiting for our meal. And well, there's no AC here, there's lots of fans, and it feels pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we come out early. So when we were out earlier, there was no one around. We had the whole place to ourselves. It is this packed. Side. This side was just like it is packed here. Wow. Oh, wow, little shops and stuff like that. We are at the Upside Down, down Museum. Museum. I've been wanting to do this. She's been bugging it, hell out since of me to do this. Since like a month and a half ago. We have to go. I think it was a little pricey for it, but it was what, uh, 29 ringgits, 58, yeah, 58 total. total yeah. Which is about what, 12, 13 dollars? About 14, for the about bus? 14 bucks, I think. US dollars. Um, but it's one of the must haves. Yeah, she's been bugging me for a couple months about this upside down house, so. Yeah. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to go in. We're waiting. We're in a waiting room right now. Oh We're number 1014. So right. I'm waiting here patiently, kind of quick. And there's a little monitor that, that flashes your number. So it tells you when it's your turn to go in. They called us. Young lady is gonna take photos for us. This is so cool. Each room is different and have people taking their photos for you with your phone. This is pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it. We had loads of fun today. We came out early, we had the town to ourselves, went to the fishing village, check out this upside down house, and now we're gonna grab some lunch, go by the poolside. 
you oh. go to the gym first. Gym. Health is very important. Gym pool. Yes, relaxation, and then we're gonna go to the top. Let me show you that later. Oh yeah. Check this out. Look at this guy. This dragon oh, back here. Oh, this kid here. Oh, this kid right here. Yeah, I didn't even see this guy. Yeah. Look, 17. Pretty cool. Yeah, if you're into art, it's definitely even the place to be. Even if you're not into art, it's, it makes yeah, great, yeah. It <laughs> makes sense. photos, great it makes photos. Sense. <laughs> Check this out. All I have to do is take a few steps. Oops, sorry about that. Take a few steps and... Oh. There's art everywhere. Which is nice. It makes it quite interesting when you're walking around the town. Yeah, check that out. 